Hey everyone, it's Erica. I have a process video for you today and I'm gonna be incorporating some border punches into my layout. I have the kit here, my die cuts, um, some papers left over from when I did my previous layout, which included the die cut frames. Um, and since I didn't use the larger frames on that layout that I did last week, I thought that I would use the frames that I did die cut last week on this layout if I can. So I'm gonna try to use up some of these frames and then use some of these papers that I have left over from the first layout. Have the border punches. Uh, my plan is to use this Heavenly Pink uh, Paper Basics from the kit as the background. I'm not sure yet which side. I'm thinking of this side. Um, it's really hard to see the color um, on camera, it's probably coming off as white, but it's a really, really soft pink. So I think that is what I'm going to use. Um, I'm gonna use the frames, I believe, in the center of the layout. Something like this, just layered with the main photo in the center, and then um, border punch some strips for the top and the bottom. That's my plan for now, we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up and take you along through the process. Okay, so I have the paper sitting here to the right side. I have this ruler and I'm going to end up taking this gorgeous paper that has all of the pretty colors on it and just cutting it at a diagonal, just using my ruler. Um, and then I'm gonna draw a line and then I'm just gonna take my scissors and just cut right across that line. Pulled out the border punches and I'm just going to end up using one of the border punches. And if I can find this border punch that I have, I will leave it linked down below. But if you head on over to any of the scrapbook stores, there are tons of great border punches. Um, even if you go to like a big box store um, in your town, they usually have some um, nice border punches there. So I'll try to find it if I can and list it. If not, um, usually you can just look them up uh, online and find a variety of them. So just gonna run these two pieces through the border punch, and then I'm going to end up switching out my background. I did have that light pink paper picked out from the kit. I'm gonna end up swapping it for a piece of white cardstock, surprise, surprise, um, and using um, a white base. So then I wanna get these two corner pieces adhered to the layout, and they were not, they don't go all the way to the edge and you'll see that here in just a minute and I'm totally fine with that. Um, I love the way that it turned out. Um, I don't know if I just trimmed too much or if the paper wasn't 12, I don't know. It worked out to where they don't hit the very edge of the paper, um, but I'm totally fine with that. And then when I adhere them down to the white cardstock, I don't adhere them like right up in the corner. I leave like a little white frame uh, around the layout and you'll see that in the um, end photos um, so I'm gonna get these run through and then just use my tape runner to adhere them down to the layout using border punches one of my favorite things to do um, you can do so many things with border punches I absolutely love using them and I regret getting rid of so many of my punches I used to have the Martha Stewart punches that would punch all the way around the page they were the best thing ever and then I just stopped using them so they kind of just sat in the drawer forever and I got rid of so many so many that I, I just I regret it so much um because older things end up coming back and you start using them again and just hold on to those punches because they are amazing tools that you can use over and over and over again there are so many uses for border punches so I have these two pieces um, and I'm going to get them adhered down. I am going to use the frames, like I said at the beginning of the video. I end up using four frames um, and I don't do them in the center of the layout. I kind of just put it um, bottom right a little bit and just layer. Uh, I have one frame for one photo that I have popped up and then the other three frames are just kind of layered behind the photo just to add some layers and interest. Uh, behind the photo and you'll see that here in just a little bit i used to have a really really hard time using frames i don't and sometimes i still do just using them how you're normally supposed to use them i guess especially chipboard frames so i i don't know i just because they're so thick i guess but i love that these dies here you can just cut them out of any pattern paper that you want make your own frames and do whatever the heck you want with them love to use them as layers more than anything um so since I do love to use them as layers, I have a whole bunch of frames behind the photo 
as layers and then my photo framed in one of the frames. So if you have a hard time using the frames, cut them up and just use them as layers. Have them tucked in behind, um, you know, embellishment clusters and things like that. Create shakers with them. Lots of fun. Um, but I, I did struggle with them. And as somebody commented on my layout, my previous lay layout with the frames and said they struggled too, I am the same way. I struggled forever and ever. Um, now, once I started to use them as layers, they, it just came easier for me to use them. So just use them, cut them up, use them as layers, um, and it'll come to you. So now I have the layers down, and then I have the photo popped up. The frames are actually just adhered under. Um, they just, I had them like stuck down, and then I put the frame on top with the photo, and it had foam adhesive behind it, so it kept those other three frames in place. So I'm just gonna go through the embellishments and start to add some florals. I love all the florals in this pack. And these are all the ephemera that I have left um, in this little tray. And it makes me sad because I'm almost out of the florals. Um, so I'm just gonna create a cluster in the bottom right corner of the frame and then one in the top left, just layering up those florals, adding foam adhesive, bending up the corners and um, making sure that they have some dimension to them. Just adding a little bit of life to the florals so they're not so flat. And then for the title, I just have the die cut that says, Life Taught Me to Cherish Moments. And I'm gonna pop that up on the bottom of that frame. Gonna tuck in this little puffy sticker that says real life and it's got like the rainbow lines around it. It's super cute. And then I have that really colorful bird in there as well. Super easy layout, super, super quick. Gonna add a couple little details to the tops of those frames just to add some interest up there. I just use some tabs, um, a puffy tab, and then one tab that I fussy cut from the Pocket Life kit. Right here, the cut apart sheet, I'm gonna cut up some of these labels and use those as layers as well. I'm gonna add one of them to the top and it says remember, and then at the bottom of the yellow frame, I'm just gonna add a couple label labels that I cut out just to do some layers down there and just bring some more color to the bottom of the frame. Um, I add in a little joy circle that I fussy cut right there above the title and I have that little puffy uh, butterfly there as well. And then the last thing I'm going to go in and do is add some of those little puffy dots that come on the puffy stickers. There's um, a whole bunch of colors which I love so you have lots of options. So I went with the, the darker pink and I'm going to add three of those around the layout and then um, and these still shots, you'll see that I will go in and add my journaling and then a little chipboard heart. And then I do go in with the sewing machine and add silver thread all the way around the layout just to frame it a little bit and just add some texture. Okay, so I have finished the layout and it went different than what I thought. Uh, my plan was to do strips at the bottom and the top with border punched edges and I didn't do that. So I just took these two pieces, border punched them and put them in the corners and then created a little cluster here in the center with the frames that I had die cut from the previous layout. I will leave the previous layout link down below if you didn't catch it. It's using the frame dies, but I used the small and the medium. Um, I have them layered up. I have three behind the photo and then the photo behind this yellow one. Then just some floral clusters, the little title here. I did cut out some of the pieces from the Pocket Life cut apart sheet. Um, I just went ahead and fussy cut those out. Super simple, but I love the bold colors at the top and the bottom and then a little bit of detail there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and run this through the sewing machine. Um, just go ahead and all the way around stitch and then maybe a couple zigzag stitches in the corners and then I will be done. Going to add a little bit of journaling um, typed out and then I'll put the strips either here or here. I'm not sure yet, but um, you will see the final photos in the close-ups and uh, Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you head on over to the hip kit club and Check out all of the fabulous kits. They are absolutely gorgeous I had so much fun working with the January kit and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye